Hello, hello. So what we're going to be talking about today is uh, sorting algorithms in the Ruby programming language specifically. Um, bubble sort is this algorithm, sorting algorithm that's going on in this uh, animation right here. Basically what it's doing is going through, it's iterating over each element in the array, comparing the index, uh, let me slow it down, it's comparing this index to the one in front of it, and um, if the if the index plus one is larger than the index minus one, uh, it's it switches the two. Um, so it's this is a good visualization of it. Um, what I want to do is code this out, and the reason that I code out sorting algorith algorithms is I get questions from people a lot of times who are kind of new to programming, and they ask me what are good katas to do to learn programming principles and I always fall back on sorting algorithms. There are several types. You have merge, quick sort, you have merge sort, quick sort, shell sort, bubble sort, section sort, intersection sort. So if you learn all of these then you have a pretty good base of, 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 of uh, just basic programming, a lot of useful things that you learn uh, from the two. Uh, bubble sort is the slowest and probably the most useless of the sorting algorithms, but, um, and you can see why, it has to go through the entire length of the array each time with a minus one um, every single time. So uh, it, it's not, performance-wise, it's terrible, but it's good to learn and it's a good jumping off point and you learn some pretty valuable stuff with it. So let's see how we would code this out. Uh, have a empty RB file right here and I have my uh, terminal window open over here. So let's go ahead and make a method uh, for bubble sort and we're going to pass that in an unsorted array so we'll just call that R. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab the length of the array so we'll just go num equals R dot length L-E-N-G T-H I always misspell that um, so this gives you the length of the array, which is cool. Oh, also, I wanted to say this before we get going. Uh, in Ruby, you can, I mean, if you wanted to, if you had an array, for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 5, 1, that's not sorted, um, and you wanted to set that to a variable, x equals um, an array, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 1. In Ruby, there is a method called x or called dot sort, and if you use that, it automatically sorts the array for you, and that's good. But to know actually how to write the sorting methods and what's going on under the hood is very important. So that's what we're doing with this bubble sort. So continuing on, so you have the length of the array. So what we want to do is start a loop, loop do, in that. And then in this loop, we're going to need some state to tell us when to break the loop. So we'll set that to sorted equals false. Okay, so let's start this off. Let's go num, which is the length of the array. Let's go num minus 1, because it's counted. If we're going to get rid of the 0 index. num minus 1 dot times do and we'll use i as our variable for our, our iterator. So what we want to do is compare an element to another element in the array. So we'll go if r i, the element of i, is greater than r with the element of i plus 1. What do we want to do? We want to switch the two. If, if this element is bigger than the one, but if this preceding element is bigger than the one that follows it, then we want to switch the two. So what we would do is go r i, sorry, r i, and then r i plus one, and we switch the two like this, r, just write them, um, i plus one, r i. Okay, cool. So that's how you switch the uh, indexes in an array. So if the pre preceding one is bigger than the one following it, switch the two, flop the two uh, uh, indexes. And then we'll also use our sorted state. We'll equal that to true. So it's true. And cool. 
So if we have everything, the logic's looking good, we're going to need a point to break this. So we'll break the loop if um, you can either write it like this, sorted equals false, or you can write it as such to where you go if break if not sorted. And that's just a bit of syntactic sugar that Ruby gives you. And we're going to want to return the array. So what we're doing is we're looping over. We start off at the array is not sorted. We go into this block. We compare the elements and flip them, or compare the indexes and flip them if the preceding one is larger than the next one. Just like in our visualization right here. It's comparing and flipping, comparing and flipping, comparing and flipping until it runs into an element that is sorted. Okay, so let's run this. Well, first we have to make an array, so let's just go x equals, and we'll just do 1, 2, 3, or 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 3, 4, 5, 4, 1. And we're just jumbling it up like that. So this isn't sorted. So what we can do is call bubble sort on it. E bubble sort. We'll pass in that x. You don't have to use um, parentheses when you pass in um, arguments. I prefer not using them because I just think it looks a little bit better, but if you want to use them, you can. So let's see if this works. Uh, let's get out of this. Exit IRB. Or Ruby test dot RV. Okay, cool. And let me make this a little bit bigger. And you can see that it sorted it. Cool. So that's exactly what we wanted. And that's the exact same thing as calling p dot uh, p x dot sort. Does the same thing. But we actually coded it out. And this is a kind of question that you do get on job interviews and whiteboarding exercises and things like that because it is useful. This logic is useful. I'm going to be making videos for shell sort, merge sort, quick sort, section sort, intersection sort. And if you know all of those, that's a very that's that's very good. Some of them are extremely complicated and a little bit unintuitive, but this is a good first jumping off point for sorting algorithms. So I hope it helped and I hope you enjoyed it. Peace.